It's hard to believe that five years have passed since Rob Cross lifted the PDT World Championship. Back then, after dismantling the great Phil Taylor 7-2 in the final with an average just shy of 108, it seemed inevitable that Voltage was going to go on to be one of the game's leading lights for years to come. It hasn't quite worked out as planned, though his recent form does suggest that the good times are on their way back. Despite frustration in the majors, 2022 has seen Cross land two Pro Tour floor titles and play some sensational stuff on the European Tour, losing three high-quality finals to MVG and twice to Luke Humphreys. If there were some concerns about him translating that form into the Premier events, his runner-up showing in the recent Players' Championship finals only losing to a red-hot Van Gogh in, in a sensational final has put any fears to bed. As a previous winner, we know that Cross is capable of challenging here at Ali Pali, and the recent form also suggests he's a live runner. I personally don't think he's quite sharp enough to go all the way. He is a patchy player at times, particularly on that outer ring, and while he can beat anyone, he can lose to anyone too. I wouldn't want to be hanging my hat on him as an outright selection, but he has had quite a favourable draw. A quarter-final looks well within his reach, but whether he could topple Van Gerwen at that stage over nine sets, I'm not so sure. Either way, he's certainly a player to watch.